Hey YouTube, I am here to show you my belt collection, uh, both a high end, middle end, and low end, if you want to put it on a scale. But I absolutely love, love, love belts. They are my favorite accessory uh, for anything. Um, I actually really love dresses and belts. Um, so let's get into the collection. I'm going to start off with my Kate Spade uh, mirrored belts. Love, 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 love these belts. I um, I got these from Lord and Taylor a few years ago. Um, I was actually looking silver mirrored belt, and when I went Lord to Lord and Taylor, I saw this one. It was the perfect. It was exactly what I was looking for. And then they had the gold one there too, so I couldn't possibly leave the gold one there. So I bought the bought them uh, bought both of them. They are patent leather, I believe doesn't say but I'm pretty sure there or there's some it's, it's genuine leather made in Italy it's some sort of matched and they are well loved um, like they have a little bit of wear and tear on them I've worn them forever um, and you really can't see it when you uh, when you wear the belts so love these two next up I have just a plain black Calvin Klein buckle it has the stretchy material these are the best very comfortable because they give um, love, love the wide buckle on here, the wide rectangle button uh, buckle. So I will wear this belt with dresses. I'll wear it with overcoats. It is a great just um, regular belt to have. And I got this from Macy's, either Macy's or Lauren Taylor. And this has been around for a while. So they may still have belt to have, still have the tag on it actually. Uh, it was uh, 30, yeah, $36. Next up, I don't even remember where I bought it. might have been um, Anthropology. Uh, it's from WCM New York, it says, genuine leather. It is just a really great statement belt. It uh, has hair on it. I don't know what kind of hair this is. It doesn't say um, on it, but it is a beautiful uh, belt in animal print. Love the rectangle. A buckle and again the stretchy forgiving back that just cinches your waist in but you can still breathe while you wear it next up I have my mark by uh, mark by mark Jacobs Jacobs belt this belt came in two colors the red it was like a red and you know the silver and then this one this one I searched high and low apparently I think when I finally let, well, like I called the corporate store, I, I was I wanted this belt. <laughs> See the Marc Jacobs, um, is that right side up? No, this is marked by Marc Jacobs on it. Um, apparently this belt in this color only came with the bathing suit, so the bathing suit was hideous. So I had to buy the bathing suit to get the belt, which was fine, because the bathing suit cost as much as the red belt was. I don't have the bathing suit, but I do have belt. the belt. Again, stretchy material. And it just, uh, this is how it um, snaps together. If I can remember, I haven't worn this in a little bit. I need to pull this out more. But yeah, love, love this belt. Very Except cool. We have a belt from BCBG. I love the, uh, I think this was like one of my second belts I ever bought uh, when I got into my belt phase. I love the cracked uh, effect of glass. It just sparkles. It looks really great with like a pantsuit or a jumpsuit. I like the buttons on the back. It just, uh, they snap together pretty easily, so. And I like the effect that it gives. Really, really cool belt. Again, a stretchy material in your belts, lady. Love this belt as well. I love all my belts, so I'm gonna be saying that a lot. Then we have a belt from this one is from American Apparel. They came in all sorts of colors. I don't even know if it is American Apparel even still in business. I don't even know. But they came in all different colors. Very fun to wear, of course, in the summertime, um, especially the color block with. This is a really good belt um, to uh, just pair with like a Kelly green dress or something like that, just for a pop of color. Next, I have my Betsy Johnson belt. This thing is massive. It's heavy. <laughs> you can use it as a weapon. This is my grunge belt, but I love to pair it with girly dresses, and I usually wear the buckle on the side. Of course, you can wear it with jeans and with shorts. It just looks good. It is very heavy. Um, I remember when I bought it, this was the most expensive belt I had spent money on at the time. And I was like, I'm not going to spend $76. I think it was $76. Was it $76 or $176? 
can't remember. It's probably 76 and I was like, oh my God, I can't spend $76 on a belt. But then Lord and Taylor had like their friends and family and I bought it. So I've come a long way from there. I've transgressed a long way from there. But it's a super cool belt, very heavy. Super cool belt to wear with dresses and in other unexpected ways. Also very cool to wear over a coat as well. I think Carrie in one of the Sex in the Cities had a belt similar, which is probably why I ran out and bought this one when I saw it and she wore it over her coat. Next peplum belt is from ASOS. I used to love wearing this all the time, especially over um, jackets. Uh, tell it was been folded so it's a little wrinkled and it has like the brass uh, or whatever this is little metal plate in the front it was very cute it's very fun sometimes I still do um, bring it out I love the back detail it was very cute it is very cute I need to bring this out too but it is fun to wear on a night out or date night or even over like a pencil skirt it just gives it on your weight like on your true waist it just gives it a the skirt a really nice look so this is fun to wear next up is this is just a plain black patent leather uh belt with a stretchy back this is from calvin klein another staple to have in your wardrobe i like the patent leather i like the big buckle very vintage gives me vintage vibes and i can breathe and it cinches the waist in at the same time so calvin klein may still have this macy's or uh, these kind of belts never go out of style even if you go to your um thrift store you'll you'll find these belts anywhere uh next up we have a cute little simple belt it's a little red belt with the bow i really love the bow i'm going to bring this out i think this is kind of gucci too i should try to wear it around my neck but um super super cool belt this i got from anthropology there is no name on it i, I must have ripped the tag off because it was peeking out but it is really, really cute, stretchy material. You can put it everywhere. You can put it on your waist, upper waist, hips, front, or wear in the back, wear the bow in the back. Just a super cool belt. I'm gonna bring this out because I think this is a, a Gucci. For some reason, it's giving me Gucci vibes. Next one is the most worn in my collection. I loved this belt. I bought this from, uh, I think I bought it, I, I bought it from Anthropology. I can't even remember the name of this. Um, but I love, love this gray belt material. And I just loved how it made every dress I wore a little extra special. Love it. As long as it holds up, there's a little mix here and there on it. But as long as it holds up, I will always have this in my collection. When Anthropology had it, it was in, it sold out, it was in, it sold out. It sold out a number of times before it finally went away. This next belt is a, a little gem. It reminds me of a time in my life where I entered, interned for Donna Karen. At one point, I was gonna go into the fashion industry. Um, and it is a belt I got to, you know, anything an intern does in a fashion house. You got to go in their closet and play in the closet and you got to watch them dress the models and do so, so, so forth and so on. And I got to pick something from the the, the lower end closet. It was not the lower end closet. I shouldn't say that. It was the closet where designs went to die, basically. But this belt I love. It is a hunter, hunter grill, and it's got gold detail um, on it. It is just a really cool belt. And out of all the things in there, I, you know, I grabbed this one because I really, really, really loved it. Um, unfortunately, now it can only fit on the first. Well, actually, not even now. Even then. It could only fit in the first um, button, the little little hole. This model had tried it on, and her she had it on like second to last. And I was like, oh, that'll fit me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, her waist must have been like barely there, because I was barely there back then. But I, I can always fit it on the one little <laughs> hole, because this tip boy is hanging hanging on for dear life, oh. and it has a very cool memories for me. So I will never get rid of it. Uh, yeah, it just reminds me of my internship at Donica. Next is another belt that I've had forever. It's another like tongue-in-cheek <laughs> kind of belt uh, from Anthropology. I think I bought it around the same time that I bought the gray one that I showed you a few belts back. It's just a nice belt to wear in the spring and summer. Next is another Anthropology uh, haunt. <laughs> 
and it is this belt with the sequined elephant on it very 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 pretty elephant. really really it's like a tweed kind of material um, and I just love it it gives me such exotic uh, vibes <laughs> I wish I was on safari or in, Af or in Africa or in like India somewhere when I wear this belt so I really really love it and it will always stay in my collection I love the back of it so wow. of course in my old age again I can only fit it in the first <laughs> I was tiny boy I can only fit it in the first one this belt is made by Jasper and Jira um, and again yeah and it's made in India there you go and I bought it from Anthropology uh, years ago. This is the first belt that I ever bought when I was trying out the idea where I bought it from. It's probably from Macy's. It's a black belt um, and it just clips on and it is suede. These little rivets here are suede. Um, and I used to wear this with everything. Like I said, dresses over my coats. Um, and then I just fell in love with this style of belt and I have been a belt junkie ever since. Uh, winding down for the mid to low end range belts. This belt I got, I don't even remember the company, but I was blogging. It's like a metal belt. I was in my blogging days, a company sent this to me. Oh yeah. And it says Amy Hart Styles. My, I can't even read it anymore. 2012 XO. <laughs> they engraved it for me. Very cute belt, very different, very different ways to wear it. Um, and this, of course, will always stay in my collection as well because it reminds me of my blogging days. In there, I bought a harness belt from Etsy. <laughs> I don't know if you can make it out, but you'll see it in the picture. It was it's cute to wear on certain uh, certain things. That's the back of it, and then it wraps around. Um, I think that you could probably still find these on Etsy. Just type in like leather harness belt. You'll see it on the takeaway how it how it fits. I haven't worn it in years, but I do like it. It's a good piece of leather with like a tank top and some shorts. Nothing too tight, but you know, just uh, it's just a cool accessory to throw on. So that is uh, my harness. Now my Moschino belts. This is a Moschino belt. I think I bought this from theoutnet.com. I think it was the Outnet. It is a dark, dark purple with the gold hardware. Uh, and I love the Moschino brand. I need to get myself a bag or something else from them. But I love my Moschino belt. Every time I wear it, I get some person is like, oh yeah, bringing back the 80s or you know, someone making a comment on it. This one, I have two Moschino belts. This one I bought from, I think I bought this one from Etsy years ago, either Etsy or eBay. And it's the heart and it has the, where is it? The Moschino logo right there and it's very 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 cute i love the orange and the silver hardware together just is a fun belt to throw on with some kind of uh a cute out of the way dress it's very cute uh of course i've got my elmez belt um and i have it in the black and in the brown leather belt, gold buckle hardware <laughs> and um it's just a good belt to have in your collection my inspired, uh, what is this? Inspired YSL belt. This is by the brand Below the Belt. Um, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful leather on her, uh, all the silver hardware. And then my beloved coach that I have not worn out yet. And a couple of you have bought it, and I'm glad to hear it. Great belt. Um, love the gray, love the embossed C's. Um, so, can't say. <laughs> any more about this belt it is a fabulous belt and to me the quality is no better no worse than the eight hundred dollars Hermes belt and this is 150. all right winding down to the great belt reveal is my gucci absolutely adore this belt uh it will never go out of style it is a classic this thing will be vintage it is, uh, it's, it's an amazing belt. I love it. I love the, um, I bought the green and the red webbing. I thought it was um, just a throwback to, you know, old Gucci. And it will always be a throwback to old Gucci. So love this belt. This is a trend I highly <laughs> jumped on because I bought another one. And I will show you which one it is. 
So I was in that market for a silver buckled belt. I was going to get the Dior silver, but it was just too much money. Oh. And the Dior silver just didn't, the silver detail just did not strike me as much as this one has. Um, and I was going, I was so much so that I loved the Dior brass one, but I don't need any more brass buckled belts. So I gave up on that. But when I saw this one, I knew this one was for me. So this is how it came. Um, I had to order this from the Philadelphia Saks because it was on back order from the regular Gucci store. And then I couldn't get anyone, I couldn't get in touch with anyone from the New York Saks. And it was raining that day. And when I want something, I want something. So I was like, okay, Saks, New York, forget you. I bought, actually I bought this Gucci. I bought this belt in Saks, it's Saks Fifth um, Philadelphia. And they were very helpful. So I was like, let me call Philadelphia again. Lo and behold, she's like, uh, at first the girl, the, the saleswoman was like, no, we don't have it. We sold out. We don't have it on your side. Then but just before she hung up, she's like, you know what? Wait, let me go back there and make sure that I'm saying, you, you know, giving you the right information. Thankfully, she went back there because she had it. So I already opened it, of course. Come to back this really nicely. Comes in the dust bag. Here is the belt. Oh, that Gucci logo gets me every time. And this leather, the color is gorgeous. I love this combination. It is amazing. When I saw it online at like 3 a.m. in the morning, I was like, oh, that is the silver buckle. Because I don't really like, I like silver. I used, to, I, I used to be like a silver queen. But this belt is amazing. This belt I bought the 85 in only because I wanted it a little bigger. Um, and the other, the webbing belt is an 80, a size 80. So there she is. I am very, very happy with this color. I cannot wait to wear her. Oh, it's stunning. I think it's stunning. The color combo is the perfect color combo. I love it. I love it. Excellent. It is so pretty. Oh, I love it. I think I'm gonna wear it this next week. How gorgeous is this belt? And I don't even like silver that much, but with this co color combo, I'm gonna wear it with everything, I think. I think I like this color combo. I don't know if I should say that. I don't know if I like it more than more than this one. Uh, they both have their, uh, their uses. But I love it. So, very happy with my uh, Gucci belt. I cannot promise that I will not buy another Gucci belt, but they are going up in prices, which is very, very annoying. Very annoying because I didn't pay as much for this and I bought this last year and it went up, I think like $70 or something, I think. It's ridiculous, it's absolutely ridiculous. So I don't know if I'll be buying another Gucci belt, but I love it. I'm so glad I bought this color combo and didn't buy that $700 Dior one. So that is it for my video, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any belts, <laughs> belt, uh, belt uh, obsession, oh, perfect accessory to jazz up an outfit, especially designer belts. I mean, you can wear like something from Forever 21 and throw on, you know, one of these, um, you know, and all of a sudden it's from a three to like an eight, <laughs> in my little opinion, you know. But it does give it, it is a great accessory. If you don't want to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on a bag or shoes, belts are your way to go. And jewelry, by the way. I love these deals. So that is it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below and I will answer them and I will see you in my next video. Take care.